Hey guys, my name is Vishwas and welcome to another episode of the Level Up series. Today, I want to enlist seven features that you should learn if you're just getting started with ES6. Now, I think we all can agree that almost any new JavaScript library or framework that comes out tries to make the most of ES6, which completely makes sense. If you have awesome features at your disposal, why do you not want to use them? But as a beginner, you're going to find it overwhelming by just looking at the list of ES6 features. So what I want to do in this video is give you a direction on what you should get started with. These features are also what you will most likely encounter in different articles, blog posts, tutorial videos, and even in interviews. So let's begin. The first feature is the let and const keywords for variable declarations. What you need to learn here is the difference between var, let, and const keywords. They all are used to declare variables, so understand when to use one over the other. The second feature is arrow functions. When it comes to arrow functions, there are two important things to concentrate on. The first one is the syntax. You will get to know that for single parameter, you can omit parentheses. For a single statement within the body, you can leave out curly braces and also the return keyword. But multiple parameters, you need the parentheses and multiple lines in the body, you need curly braces. The second concept is related to this keyword. In regular functions, every new function defined has its own this keyword value. That would confuse people getting started with JavaScript. Arrow functions, on the other hand, don't have their own this keyword. So please make sure you understand the concept of this keyword when it comes to arrow functions versus traditional functions. The third feature is template literals. With template literals, you can write multi-line strings and embed expressions right into the string. You need to make use of backticks to write template literals. This is a feature that really helps save time because we can avoid the whole confusion when concatenating strings with values and having to escape single and double quotes. The simplest yet one of the most useful features in ES6. Next, we have default parameters. This is a pretty straightforward concept. You can basically specify default values to parameters when you define a function. When you call that function and don't pass in a value, the default value will be used. Fifth feature, object literals. You're going to learn that with ES6, if the property name and the value name is the same in an object, we can omit the value and the value is inferred to be the same as the property name. It is also possible to use variables as object keys. So the next time you come across code where they return an object, but the object doesn't have key value pairs, they're using ES6 object literals. Sixth feature, rest and spread operators. Rest operator is used to represent an unknown number of values as an array and is useful when specifying parameter to a function whose value may vary at runtime. The spread operator, as the name indicates, is used to spread or expand an iterable like an array. Do learn the syntaxes and the uses of rest and spread operators. Seventh feature is destructuring assignment. Destructuring is kind of a special assignment which works with arrays and objects. So learn about destructuring arrays, but more importantly, destructuring objects as that is something you're going to find more often. So let and const, arrow functions, template literals, default parameters, object literals, rest and spread operators, and finally, destructuring assignment. These are the seven features that I would highly recommend if you're getting started with ES6. 
Forget about the other features and focus on learning these for a week or two. Once you have a good understanding, move on to the likes of classes, modules, promises, iterators, and so on. All right, I hope that you now have some direction to begin with ES6. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.